Hello everyone, the focus of this video is going to be using the course documents tab to kind of add some content, build content, and again, very basic, not as comprehensive as what is possible to do, but just to give us an idea of how we can make some changes to our courses if we need to moving forward here. So I just went in the course documents tab and I'm clicking on week one and you'll see the syllabus. That's what it's called. It's called the syllabus for whatever reason. And um, if you click on that, then you can make changes to that particular section. So depending on how you have it set up, you can have your objectives, required readings, and then assignments down here. And again, some of the courses look different. I get that. But you're also going to put your lecture in here as a way to add it. Um, and your discussion board directions, view questions. Okay, and that's these were all the assignments for this course. So you'll notice they had to watch a video all that good stuff. So let's say you want to um, build a, some type of assessment. Alright, you can build, um, I would, I usually build either an assignment or a turn it in assignment. Let's start with assignment first. Okay, so click on assignment and I'm just going to make something up, PowerPoint presentations, okay, for our purposes. And then directions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we go down, scroll down, and you can add attach file if you like. And the due date, you know what? I'm going to make it Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. And points possible, 50 points. There we go. You can add a rubric if you like. And you can pick the display after, display until date, for whatever timing your course you know, for whatever applies to your course, and I click Submit, then I'm going to show you what happens. So, you may be saying to yourself, well, how do they submit it, right? So, if I'm a student, they click on here, and they're going to see the directions, the point, points possible, and I believe this is the screen they'll see, but they can write their submission. All right, so they, they write it, da -da 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 -da, and then they submit it. See? And then it'll come to you in the form of um, in the form of um, well, it depends on how you grade how it's set up, but it won't be a turn it in assignment, but you'll get that assignment um, in your grade book, and it'll populate, and you can make your comments directly on the paper right there. Now, the other way to do it, if you want to turn it in assignment, turn it in, click on assessments, turn it in, and we're waiting. Here we go, and it's a. If you haven't seen this, it's, and by the way, turn it in is going away. I believe about the middle of this quarter, so we'll deal with that as it comes up. But for now, this is how you set up a turn in assignment. So it's a paper assignment. Next step. Okay, assignment title. I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna pick one from a previous assignment that I had. Point value, I'm gonna make it a hundred. Alright. And I would I always just leave allow only file types that turn it in can check for originality. And then you're gonna pick your start date and your due date. Um, and the post date, which is defined as the post date is the date and time students can begin viewing the comments and grades instructors have left on their papers and grade marks. So usually around the, a, a day after, I guess the due date is a good good idea. As a rule general rule of thumb. And then just click submit as I have there. Hopefully, okay. Now you notice the screen's blank, and I, it took me a while to figure this out. But if you got to go back to the top to make sure that you see this message, turn in an assignment successfully added, I click OK. And I should be able to scroll to the bottom of the screen and see that assignment. Notable quotes 10, that's what I called it. So students can view and complete it. And they know how to do this. They've been turning in assignments using Turnitin all along. So that shouldn't be a problem. Okay. All right. So back to course documents. I'm trying to think. There are some other things that you can you can do. So let's say I go to back to week two um, and build content. You want to add, you can add items or files. And I showed you guys how to do that. Uh, I Again, I don't really mess with the other stuff, but they're, they look pretty cool. I'd love to learn more about it. But I usually just create items or files, and um, 
The other thing that you can change syllabus. And for whatever reason, let me cancel this out. For whatever reason, this particular area, this week two objectives part, is called the syllabus. And you can go in here and click edit if you want to change it around. If you want to change some of the wording, okay, and it goes to this screen. And this also took me a while to figure out. Once you're here, you have to click edit syllabus in order to open it up. And you'll notice that it's just like pretty much everything else in Blackboard. That's where you can make your changes. And you're going to click submit once you get what you need in there and boom it's back up here and again you can change order of uh, like I showed you before with the drop and drag and then there are some other little tips and tricks as well but that's the, the basic gist of using course documents in that particular function thanks